On the other hand, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we're, we are increasing the amount of direct consumption sugar that we're uh, producing. Now, that direct consumption sugar is containerized. It's bagged sugar, containerized. And um, as I said, it's, this crop is about 50-50 between raw sugar and, and, and bagged sugar. And I would make the point that all that bagged sugar goes out through the Port of Belize City. And as we increase that, um, obviously, there'll be more and more um, use of the Port of Belize City to export that uh, those direct consumption sugar. So as far as we were concerned, look, this was simply a, a, it was a business case that uh, to Im improve the efficiency of the industry. Every sugar industry has to be looking at continual improvement in its efficiency in order to stay ahead of the game. Um, the other, alter the other uh, benefit for this, of course, is that we were taking our uh, assets out of the new river. We we're aware that the river has been stressed in recent years, and um, uh, it, it seemed appropriate to, um, to look at un unblocking the bottleneck that existed with our export uh, raw sugar um, uh, system. And, and in so doing, taking our barges and tugs out of the New River as well. So it's purely a business decision. Uh, there was no, no secret behind this. I mean, we've been writing to all the concerned parties for a long period of time. We've received all the, 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 the government licenses we need to operate at Big Creek. We've signed a 30-year uh, lease uh, with Big Creek Port. Um, so, uh, to, you know, I don't think uh, at the end of the day, anyone's going to, going to lose huge benefit because as we shift our DC production upwards that uh, you know there will be an increased um, throughput of containers through through port of uh, belize city while we export our raw sugar through the only deep water port in belize